Hi, Mr. Mac. Where's Alex? Three, two, one. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your pimp player, Mac. Alex Mac here, and I'm with the one, the only. Gemma. Gemma. And he just got done performing here at Live from the Land. Uh, first thing? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. What was the first thing popping in your head when you made that, bro? Sound like you had something on your mind that day. Yeah, so I had left work, and I was mad because I was dealing with some bullshit at work. And so I was like, I need to, to, to write something to express how I felt. And that was the first thing that came into my mind. I heard the beat, and I'm like, let me just go ahead and vent and talk about it. So that's how Wait. it came about. But like, what was it? Was it like your manager was on you or some shit that day? Was I ain't gonna go trip into to specifics, it? but let's just say the manager at the location, man, uh, she was trying to boss people around and be rude and call people out publicly, and I don't really like that type of stuff. So I was like, let me write a song. Swear, she ain't gonna know directly it's about her, yeah. but I'm gonna be talking about it. All so. right, what's her, what's her Instagram at? <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man, but uh, hey, uh, I'll tell you where it's at. Uh, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna go there. I, really I got you. Um, so it sounds like you have a lot of different like influences with your music um, from like your beat product or from the beat choice that I've heard as well. What would you say are like your top three favorite albums all time? Albums? Yeah. Or bodies of work. Bodies of work. Let's go, Kendrick, Good Kid, Mass City. Classic. Whew, that's a deep question. Um, Kanye, Dark Twisted Fantasy. And then let's see what else. What else? Ooh, I'm gonna have to pass one. on that last one. I got pass one. on the last one. Yeah, Cue I can't the think slime. of it right we now. Just <laughs> it. I need time with that one. Facts. Okay. Uh, where Where do you want to go next from your music standpoint, artistry? Yeah. So I've been working on this EP for quite some time. It's called Vita Reale. Hmm. And I love Latin words, so Vita Reale translates to real life. And each one of the tracks are about something that I struggle with. The first track is actually titled God's Void, and that's about my religious struggles. And then it's going to be like seven to eight tracks to each one just talking about a specific point in my life where I just have some hardship. Interesting. I'm, I've been looking at um, you know spirituality a lot, doing a little bit of my own research and everything. Sounds like there's a little bit of a resurgence in people's conscience right now. Do you think there's a... Specific reason? Is it the climate today? or I think people are getting tired of like the normal day-to-day -day routine and they realize like the mundane aspect of life. So they're looking for something more. And I think when you start to become more self-reflective, you get access to a little bit more information and learn about yourself. You then start to become just more conscious in general. So I think that's what's happening. I have to answer it. Well, I appreciate you continue to contribute to our consciousness, man. Keeping us yes, uh, top of mind, bro. I appreciate oh, yeah. you. Thank you. It looks. <laughs> 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 Hi, Mr. Uh, Max. Oh, wait, was that Alex? Oh, that's the.